we're getting a little confidence, right? Three of you came to this hotel today and you wanted to split a room to save a little bit of money. The room costs $30 and there are three of you splitting the room. How much do each of you pay to be fair? $10. So you each pay up front at the, at the registration desk and you give the person $10, you walk up, three of you go into your room. Well, the person at the front desk who took your order realized, hey, wait a minute, the room is not $30. It's only 25 bucks. So he calls the bell cap in and he gives him five ones and he says, hey, why don't you go back up to the room and reimburse these people they overpaid for your room. So the bellhop walks up into the room. He knows he's not going to get a tip from these little tight wads. So he takes one dollar each and gives it to each one of you. Now, how much have each of you paid for the room? Nine dollars each, right? How much does the bell have left? Nine plus nine plus nine is 27. How much does the bellhop have? Two. What's 27 plus two? Where did the dollar go? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I can see three looks in you. One look of you are like, do I really care about this and what's the point? <laughs> that looks looks like this. You paid eight thirty. There are some of you out there going six for the room, about nine dollars. <laughs> And then there's some of you sitting back going, oh, I got this. And if I walked up and said, explain it, you'd go, oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> if you're confused on that question, then this next speaker is for you. <laughs> He's actually my protege. My protege. I raised him since he was a pup. He started as a customer service rep for me in my former company, and he worked all the way up to be my assistant and now one of your founders. When we started, he didn't know anything about compensation plans. Nothing. Today, he is in field de development all throughout China. This dude is smart. I mean, he is, I'll, I'll tell you how smart he is. He's decided that since Japan is going so quickly, he also wants to work on field de development in Japan. So he came up to me and he said, hey Fred, if you'll let me be in Japan for six months, I will learn that language fluently. He speaks fluent Mandarin. How good is his Mandarin? Very good. He speaks fluent Cantonese. He can read it, he can write it, he can type it. He's never taken any piano lessons, but if you hear any melody, play any melody in front of him, he'll sit down at the piano and play it back to you. That's pretty impressive. And what's more is he has studied compensation plans to the point that I dare say, okay, he's not me. <laughs> But he's close, with a lot of other skills that I don't possess. So to explain to you bad math, I want to introduce a good friend of ours and one of our founders, and a big wig throughout all of Asia, Mr. Ian Chandler. So, marketing, big football guy, right? I'm the antithesis of him. He's big, I'm, he's strong, I'm, I'm getting there, right? But I got one thing where I'm also, it's a good thing to be the opposite, right? I pull up my nerd glasses, life is good, because I've been with Fred for a long time, I learned from that very big forehead of him. 
For those of you guys who don't know me, I live in Hong Kong. It's my home away from home. I've been there for the last four years since we decided to, to start ours. I, I had one week to make a decision, pack my bags, and I said, this is it, sayonara, we're out of here. And so I've been there ever since. It's been fun. Uh, the whole Japanese thing, I'm still working on it. It's different than Chinese, but it's a lot of fun. Um, especially because you get to see the people. I, I believe that learning a new language unlocks an entire opportunity to make friends and relationships with people worldwide, and it inspires me to get to know each and every one of you guys. So we just opened Korea, and Fred gets up there on stage and says, okay, you got six months, go to it. So I'm downloading every single app that I can on Korean. It's a good time. Um, I also have a very, very big incentive for learning and continuing my Chinese, and that is my beautiful daughter. So she's a year and a half old, she's a cutie. Um, she listens to what Deanna says when it comes to food. So she's strictly vegetarian with the exception of fish. I think you would be proud, right? Um, but her mother language is actually Cantonese. So she walks around and she's like, Wan? Hupi do wana? Right? She's like, I'm having a good time. She says, what's your favorite thing? Ma ngai? She loves ants. They just, they just fascinate her. She's a smart kid. She, I think she's had a little too much omega for her own good. She'll walk around and memorizes the names of all these animals in English, Cantonese, Chinese. You tell her, say, uh, and she'll do a bow for you. You say, you're just a really smart kid. But it's a good motivation to want to keep my Chinese up because her grandparents only speak Cantonese. So it's a lot of fun. Um, but in the last four years, Fred hit the nail right on the head. Okay, imagine going to China four years ago. I know a little bit, a little bit about cop plans, right? I, I studied Fred for a little while and uh, pick some things up, and you get there and, and you're talking to this guy, a whole group of people, and you say, hey, dude, ours is amazing. We have Fred Cooper. The guy invented a company who created IT systems for MLM companies worldwide. He was a consultant for over 70 MLM, okay, they don't want to hear all this stuff. They said, okay, get to the point. Got it. So we start showing the compensation for how you can make money. Life is good. And the guy says, well, talk to Mike over here. He's the guru. So the guru starts talking. And oh my gosh! And they talk for an hour about why their compensation plan is a billion times better than yours. Guys, is the ARC's compensation plan amazing or is it freaking amazing? Why? Who can tell me? First of all, four years ago, we started not with the premise of let's do a cookie cutter plan, let's just do one that's going to be a, a nice transition for a lot of our people. It was let's sit down and see if we can't solve every major problem of compensation in the industry. Do you believe it? Yeah. Take, take, for example, the first. What is unlimited income? It means you can build your organization any way you want. You want to build it wide, you want to go deep. There's no limits to how you get paid. What problem does that solve? If I've got a team that is from a company that was a unilevel company and they come to Rx, and there's no way that we can bring their structure in, it doesn't work, right? Can you build infinitely wide with Rx? Problem solved, right? You bring a binary in, can you go infinitely deep? Problem solved, life is good, right? Let's get another one. I can't build on my power line, it's already maxed out, therefore I don't want to waste my time on all these people who aren't making me money, right? That's what people say in a binary. In Rx, if I have people that I sponsor in any line, if that line gets above and beyond 13,000 points and it just grows to infinity, should I continue helping to build them or should I give it up and focus elsewhere? Keep on building, why? Matching bonus. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It doesn't matter how big the volume in that line goes. If they continue to raise their paychecks, guess what? Cha-ching, life is beautiful forever. Problem solved? Problem solved next. Let's take a look. We got to pay people up at the front. They got to get a paycheck quick. Otherwise, they start to worry if it's going to work or not, right? So we have the ASAP bonus. Who rocks up the ASAP bonus? Let's see those hands. That's right. It's good times, right? What about all the people who earn a lot of money but spend a lot of money? Okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter how rich you are, it's how you manage your money. Right? To Jeff's credit, with the savings bonus, he gets all tingly and excited because when you're earning money, he's saving a little bit extra on the side for you. And that comes back when we get our 
savings bonus, okay? Another problem solved? Another problem solved, let's keep looking at it, right? People always wanna get paid at the top. If you don't take care of your top leaders, they say, I ain't making enough money and this guy's offering me a whole lot of cash over here, right? None of us wanna see our top income earners leave, right? So we pay at the top of the leadership bonus, but more importantly, we're kind of smart and give them a little special pin. That means they get special access to profits and decision making, so they never, ever, ever want to leave. What's that? The Founders Club. Problem solved? You got partners for life. My absolute favorite, you got to get people to earn enough money every single month to get their products, to make enough to cover their products, right? We're not talking about giving away products like most companies do. We're talking about giving you cash that's enough to cover the cost of building and maintaining your business. AKA D. Problem solved? I don't think you understand what that bonus would do for you. Honestly, I don't think you understand. If you understood what this bonus could do for you, you would be building very differently than the way you're building today. If you understand why, come to, this is, yes, this is an unabashed advertisement for tomorrow's breakout session. I gotta compete with Deanna and Prime. Okay, so just show up tomorrow and we're gonna show you why this, this bonus is bigger than any other bonus on the face of the planet, okay? Beautiful. Of course, we have our patents. Fred talked about that there's four of them, right? It doesn't matter if you have inflation, we got you covered, right? Problem solved. $2,000 is nice today in 2011, but 50 years from now, $2,000 won't buy you a cup of coffee. Is that a problem? Have we solved it? Are you seeing a pattern here? Does Fred have a, a good, good, well-endowed uh, cranium? I think it's a good time, right? Auto balancing, right? We give you your Fridays back. You don't have to worry about where your volume is going. And if you do retail, it automatically calculates your commissions for you. You don't have to, to worry about how or where it places. You just buy as much as you need, and bam, it solves your problems for you. 50% payout. What problem is this solving? You guys are all looking at me blank. If it was a 60-40 split, would you go into business with me today? I get 60, you get 40. 70-30. I get 70, you get 30. And you want to take me on an 80-20. What about a 50-50? Well, then you're going to start wondering, well, okay, who is this guy? Maybe I'll consider, right? But if it's less than a 50-50, why would you even consider? You heard Cameron say it. You heard Jeff say it. What's the average pan in our industry, guys? Is it a 50-50 split? Where do you find a 50-50 split and only find a 50-50 split? Are you sure about that? Well, I don't believe you for a second. Okay, we get exponential growth. I'm going to skip all this because we're going to talk about it tomorrow. Um, look at this. Look at this picture. I don't believe you when you tell me that Arx is the only company with a 50-50 split. What do you see when you see this beautiful person? What do you think she sees in the mirror? If you guys don't have confidence in the compensation plan, and you act like you think you're fat, are you going to be walking around with a lot of confidence? And how will people treat and react to you when you start talking about the compensation plan? There's a whole world of people out there who think they're all of that in a bag of chips. Okay, every other compensation plan, I'm telling you, every other company, they're paying out 30%, 40%, 42 if they're lucky. But they think that they're paying 50%, 60%, 80%. Who doubts me? How many of you have ever heard somebody come and say, our company pays more than you? Have you heard it? Why do they believe that? Right? They, they're at the club, they're having a good time, they come to Vegas, right? This is what they look like in real life. We all know it. But why do they believe to the contrary? What's going on here? Okay? I'm going back to my guys in China. Bunch of angry old men. They go back and say, They say, you're an American, you're a white, you don't understand compensation. We're different in China. And I say, yeah, you're different. You're paying a whole lot less than we're paying. But they love their plans. What do you do? You're up against these people. Let's, let's hold a video. I've got a full-on competition with people who sell their plans like this guy. Hi, it's Vince with ShamWow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat. 
the RV. ShamWow holds 20 times its weight in liquid. Look at this. It just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? It doesn't trip. Doesn't make a mess. You bring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. You know the Germans always make good stuff, right? Okay, I can't compete with that type of a salesperson in China. My Chinese is good, but I can't compete with their slick words, their fancy you know, footwork and their way, you know, how, they, how they pitch it. So what do you do? Go home? Call it quits? What I'm here to tell everybody is bad math does not equal a good compensation plan. You heard Fred's question, right? How many of you were confused by the way that he worded his question? Come on, there were more than you did, two or three, right? Special wording and good marketing also does not equal a good compensation plan. Yet time and time again, people fall for it. Let's, let's look at some examples. These are my favorite, right? Going back to the question, which is better? Up to 80% in a total payout or 50%? What do you guys want? Who wants 80? Raise your hand. I don't believe you. I'm telling you, I'm in China all day long. People say, 80%, I'll take it, that's more than 50. So here's how they do it. They say, we pay 80% of commissional volume points. Well, if your product costs 100 bucks and they only give you 50 points, what's your actual payout percentage for those math experts out there? 80% times 50 points is $40 divided by the 100 bucks you spent is 40%. But Vince isn't telling you that. Vince is telling you what? <laughs> Our plan pays more, right? Watch the fine print. It's always there. Read it. If you see up to 50%, up to 60%, up to 80%, I promise you, outside of ARCs, they're all talking about points. Next one. I'm in Taiwan three weeks ago. This guy comes up to me and says, you, we got a problem. I think we found a company who pays out more than RX. I said, okay, let's see their plan. I said, look, they've got six bonuses. One pays 22, one pays 16, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I spent eight hours going through their plan, combing through all the details in my little Excel spreadsheet, running my nerd, nerd alert stuff, right? At the end of the day, I said, we need to schedule a time to meet. Because what you're not seeing is the fine print that very clearly says it's 22% and 16, or 27 and 16, but there's a big fat OR in there. Do you see a difference? And the higher that the volume goes up, they don't pay 27%, they pay 16. So 16 plus 16 plus 2 plus 6 is a 38% payout. Can you see how clever wording that is very roundabout and is not direct could make somebody believe that they pay 89%, right? And how does Vince go and sell his ShamWow? He just says you add them all together. That's the easy way, right? Let's do another one. This one's my favorite. 10% plus 10%. They say, look, we pay 10% on our pay line and 10% on our power line for a total of 20%. Does anyone see a problem? What's the problem? What if they had 10 lines? What would be the total payout? 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 100%, the company's going broke. Do you see a problem here? Okay. <laughs> Guys, bad math is not a good compensation plan. But Vince doesn't sell it that way. He says 20 is more than ARCs is 15, so we pay more. And who believes it? Who believes it? Tell me you don't believe it because you believe it all day long, guys. I see it every day. Uh, another one, they say 10,000 10, on the cap is more than 2,000, right? They say, look, we pay 10,000, Rx pays 2,000. We're more, right? Is that right, guys? Does Rx only pay $2,000 on any line? On a pay line. Who believes that we pay $2,000 on a pay line? Raise your hand to pay out in commissions. We're ARX, we get 50%, life is beautiful, right? How are you gonna make my people over here feel like you pay more? Is it possible? Think like Vince. What would Vince do? Shout out, give me a pitch. Well, what could we do? I got 380 bucks to spend, right? 
on a thousand dollars of sales. If I pay my top person two fifty, no, 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 we're higher than you, right? What do you guys pay? You're two hundred. I'm two fifty. I'm more than you. And guess what? I can be better than that. Like my person, the brand new person who sponsors somebody. I'm paying a hundred bucks over here, and you're paying fifty. Who's the better plan? Jeunesse, doTERRA, Organogold. All of the plans that love to pay people at the top a lot of money, love to pay people at the bottom a lot of money, and guess what happens to everybody in between? Who wants to be in company B? But guys, they sell it to you every single day, so please don't make the mistake that most of you commonly make, and that is you buy their selling points. Okay, my point to you today is the fine print is almost more important than the selling points. How do I know this? Fred hit the nail that. I have studied over 25 different companies, pull out my nerd glasses, right? Eight hours a pop. And you can go through and based on the rules they give you, you can put it into a statistical model that calculates how much they pay. Pretty cool, right? So, what I'm telling you is, <laughs> These are some of the formulas that we use. This is our base commission, right? A lot of nerd alert. Like I got big old glasses, Coke bottle glasses, right? Hopefully with vanilla it gets a little better. Um, I can create a comparison chart. So who do we got? Rx up there, we got Yasano, we got doTERRA, Janes, Kiani, Mark and Marinirium, Moder, Monadi's out of business, Organo Gold. Okay. <laughs> What this means is now I don't have to worry about the Chinese guy who says, I don't know Jack Squat. I say, okay, tell me your company. Tell me the rules. An hour later, come back with this, which says, you tell me the rules. You tell me the volume. You tell me how it duplicates the size of your team. And every step of the way, I can compare and tell you exactly how these companies pay out. Basically, what we've done is solved the final problem for compensation plans. Right? When there's a lack of transparency, the guy with the best selling skills wins. When I show you the numbers, it doesn't matter how good my Chinese is, guys. You can't argue with truth. Right? Rx is the first company in the history of MLM to bring transparency to the final frontier of competition, and that is the compensation plan. And better yet, we're going to bring this tool to a new ex office report oh for all of you God. to use. <laughs> so, we got a lot of work ahead of ourselves, but what I want to show you is it is no longer a pissing match of who can sell the best. It comes down to the truth. And again, I've got an invitation for all the spies out there. I hope you had a good time learning. If you want a one on one, I'll sit down, we'll go through, we'll show you why your compensation plan is. Pretty good, but not as good as it could be. Boom! <laughs> Anytime, anywhere, and here's the crazy part. And this is the part I didn't appreciate. We've got a good plan. But it doesn't matter which rules you use. You can take doTERRA rules, Jeunesse rules. You tell me the best way that I can get the best payout in that company, put the same rules in Rx, and after I get past 100 people in the tree, we never lose. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> if you don't understand anything else, just, just remember this. This comes with some fine print as well. For all the people who think their call plan is better, set up a time. All we want is to record and make it public, right? And we'll get Fred on there and everybody else, whoever you want, and then you're going to realize when we talk compensation, it's not even a question. Just like you trust the quality of our RX products, the now new and improved look of our marketing, there should never ever be a reason why any of us should ever doubt the amazing power of the RX compensation plan. Do you buy it? Yes. yes. You're doing Vince proud, okay? So, to that end, I end my talk with an introduction to somebody who knows a thing or two about compensation plans. This guy might have been one of the top earning incomes for a compensation plan that pays